figures that are in the background and then these are in the foreground and I was considering the fact that also this dove and then Elizabeth's uh, little statement down here those are going to be the most forefront pieces and parts of the carving everything else is going to be further back than that um, of course, this piece is going to be an, uh, have a, the overlay of the uh, Anya's Day that will fit there. The bread will come forward, the cross and hand will come forward. So you can see I'm starting to put those further back. Uh, I've cut in here and then outlined the cross that way. And then soon we will begin working here with the hand and the Bible. And the Bible will be uh, kind of an interesting challenge because of, it's supposed to portray thickness, you know, of all of the Word of God, uh, as well as in having some tabs and stuff along those lines. But anyways, it'll be fun. So, um, let's see, get to work. Trusty chisel. So one of the things that tends to happen, or at least in my uh, usage of tools, is I tend to go from the larger to the smaller. And then my use of the chisel, while it remains, because this is a harder uh, wood, this is being elder wood, It is not as forceful, but then I'm shaping the body, and so you have this uh, uh, the foldings of the neck, uh, uh, you know, and in the back it would it would uh, create the hood, and so you uh, create those as they uh, go backwards behind the person but you don't take as much off The thing I love about relief carving is the fact that it is 
an illusion because in the actual carving it may be at the same levels but you tell the eye of the person who's looking at it that pieces are further back than they are and so that's kind of the art of relief is not that you are putting a full image and the fullness of the whole face on here uh, you know that's 3d uh, carving and definitely um, not a relief Thank you.